Hey, this is James. In my 2001 Allegro uh, bus motorhome uh, 35 IP, and uh, anything that's gone down the road a bunch of miles, you know, these old guys start vibrating apart. All right, this is the sliding door in between the bathroom and the uh, the kitchen area. Most all motorhomes use the same technology. Um, just got this little car here that runs on the rails. And what happens over time is, is that, uh, let's see, you can see screws have come loose and, uh, you know, the, the, the rail um comes loose and the door starts binding uh door comes out pretty easy there's these little clips here that that um yeah these just go into there and into there and there and then the door just kind of um you know wedges out towards the bathroom like that and i'll bring it in the same way Let's see how this works. So to get in that closet, you need all kinds of extensions. So this is a eighth inch, eighth inch or a quarter inch drive. I'm gonna tape it here, tape each one of these um, so I don't lose it. And that should reach back there. Here's the extension I just made. I taped it up now and now I'm gonna basically use that to get in there let's get some light on here for you uh, there you can see it much better so they fall, all fallen out and then that one is loose and the only one that's are tight here uh, because i can't do it i don't have a third hand the extension is essentially going to get me back into here to put everything back together. And I think that's the only one that I can reach. Let's see. Oh, hey. That just might work. Let's see if we can get... So this is what what's happening here. Just a couple extensions of tools that I already had. Um... <laughs> But that's what it's going to take to do it. All right, well, the first one, piece of cake. Second one, big angle. So the uh, the hole, you, you can't go up and down. Right? you got to go sideways. And then I started stripping it, stripping out the, uh, the head where the Phillips goes. And I was like, oh, great. So I started backing it out, got most out, except for the final bit. So now... I may have screwed myself, but where's a will? There's a way. So this is like four bucks from your cheap tool company. And cheap Chinese tool company, that is. And I'll see if I can get it out or might have to get a longer stick in there and bang it back and forth. And again. I can't do it one-handed. You'll have to see the aftermath. Got it. All right. Something with a little more bite and power. I'm going to put that on the end, tape it on there. Uh, I know you can get... I have one that has a sheath on it where, you know, it goes up and around it. Um, let's see if we can get that to focus. All right, we're looking at the ceiling some perspective and it hangs down just a little bit but hey camera on a tripod all right let me put this door back in so, just kind of wiggle it past right there 
these little rollers roll right into these guides right up here. So that guide's going to go into there. And we'll switch that over. And this roller is going to go into that one right there. And then uh, on the other side of the door, we'll flip that around. using the toe of my tennis shoe. Lift it up in there. There we go. Oh, look at that. Before, weren't even moving. I had to lift it up. many times I've had to do it I've owned it for three four years now so good luck everybody you can do it it's not too hard just get some extensions and you're set to go and uh, I just used my the toe of my my shoe on the bottom down here when the door there's enough gap that you could use the uh, the toe of my shoe to lift it up to to make it in there Y'all have a good one.